The fighting may be over for the army, but for families like Al Rafai, the grief of a dead son can never go away. Their 23-year-old son Ali, a Lebanese army soldier, was killed on Sunday. He was, the family says, the last victim of the siege at Nahr al barid Now Ali's mother says her son's death is going unnoticed by the government. He is a martyr for the country. And where are the politicians? They don't care about his death. No one cares about his death. A day earlier, as the Lebanese military began to withdraw from the refugee camp, thousands took to the streets in a rare moment of national jubilation in support of the army. Here, in the impoverished north of the country, support for the army runs deep. Many join simply to earn a living. In the four-month battle that raged at Nahr al-Barid, nearly 160 soldiers were killed. Today, pictures of those fallen soldiers can be seen everywhere. Many of the soldiers who fought at Nahr al-Barid came from nearby villages like this one. Their images serve as a reminder of the heavy toll Lebanon paid during the conflict, but they also raise serious questions about the role of the army in Lebanese society and how well the army was prepared. For Ali Huesh's cousin Mohammed, the military shares some of the blame for his cousin's death. Our sons were fighting with zeal because they didn't have the weapons, the planes or the equipment to fight properly. We are saying at this time that our army should be given the proper support. Although he sees the military as one of the unifying institutions in an often divided country, Ali Rafai's father says Lebanon's government is more concerned with power than the people. And if the army wanted to assert more control over its territory, some doubt the army could take on such a task. They are talking about who is going to be the president of the republic. People can stand it anymore. They don't care about the people who are hungry and poor and trying to live. On Tuesday, Lebanon's defense minister warned against a political stalemate in the run-up to the presidential elections at the end of the month. So as the country turns its attention away from the fighting at Nahr al barid and towards politics once again, some will be watching what role, if any, the military will play. Ayman Mohideen, Tripoli, Al Jazeera.